Hi, everybody. We are live. We're going to open a jewelry jar, bag, box. I'm not sure what it is. It was a wonderful arrival. I'm trying to erase everybody's address. Nobody's address needs to be known. Let me know if I have a uh, extra fantastic sound going on because I am plugged into a mic. Can you hear it? But I'm not sure how to use it. I was supposed to change some preferences. I'm hoping it picks up the sound nicely, but I don't know. I'm going to get really close in a minute and you tell me how it sounds. I'll start doing some ASMR videos. I actually have done some on my other channel. Another channel I had, um, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see how it sounds. Can you guys hear it at all? Does it sound different? Hello? Testing one, two, three. Let me see who's here. Ruth Bond is here. Smile is the new color. Carice, Karis. Let me know if the emphasis, if there is a slight emphasis on that I vowel there. I want to make sure I pronounce your name correctly. It's so pretty. I don't want to slaughter it. Hey, how are you, everyone else that's here? Let me see. We got Liz, Makeup Zombie, Nora, Peace Out. Ruth Bond and Tracy Barb. Thank you guys, Jane Bennett. Okay, we're gonna open this fabulous box from a um, fellow YouTuber, fellow reseller, and his name is Doug Sample. And he sent me this fabulous gift. I'm so excited to open it for you. I'm gonna try to distribute it in here because I still have my table full of stuff from my auction today and I don't wanna mess anything up. So many things I didn't get to, guys including last night we opened a jar, right? And somebody asked about the heart. It was Hello Kitty. It was Hello Kitty. She was turned upside down. That's her there. Let me get closer to the boxes in my way. And then the other one was a pretty floral brooch that I sold today to Doug. So he is excited to get that. It's a beautiful piece. It was a yellow. I don't know if you guys noticed. It was a little yellow flower. It was, uh, what was that brand again, Doug? I forgot now. Sanford or something. Sandor, S-A-N-D-O-R. It's supposedly an expensive brand. I'm not sure, but let's see what's in here and um, and um, open it up. All right, let me find some sharp. Does the, Can you guys hear the volume at all on the mic? I got this mic, guys. Hello. It probably sounds the same. It's probably not even on. How is it now? I may have the mute, mute button on. I'm not sure. No difference, right? It's fine. So then there's no difference. It's supposed to sound like a radio personality. I think it's on. It's flashing. Does anybody else out there use a mic? Maybe if I turn it up a little bit, because it is on. All right, on with the jeweler. We'll do more videos later with the with the mic. It sounds good. Oh, good. I don't know. It's, I wish you would let me know if it was on. I can barely understand that universal symbol. You know that zero and the and the minus that binary code. I never know with, whether the O stands for or the zero whether it stands for on or off. You know, I know it doesn't stand for that, but good way to remember, right? I think the zero is off. So I, I can't tell if this thing is on or off. But we're going to open this fabulous box. It is in a um, a big flat rate box. I guess this is the $14 one. No, this is the $20 one. And I'm not sure how he sells them, his price range, but I will be sure and link his uh, Etsy shop. He has an Etsy shop where he sells these curated jewelry jars for those of you who don't get any. And believe me, guys, these jars are fabulous. Anytime you get a curated jar, I've, I've really rarely been disappointed when I get them. I bought a few at the auctions or, you know, like I bought one from um, 
from Donatella's auction. It was fabulous. I bought a couple of other ones from other people, and they've been really, really nice. So I included a wonderful, beautiful card. And so nice of him to send me this. His Etsy shop is Vintage Boutique Cali. True vintage and sterling items. And I have not visited yet. I'm so out of the loop. But I've heard good things about it. Vanessa, I believe, has been on there, and other people have talked about it. So in there, not only does he sell regular items, individual items, but he gives you a chance to purchase a jewelry jar. Oh, my gosh, how sweet. Does he know I like candles or what? <laughs> how nice. Thank you so much, Doug. I don't even want to open it. Lavender luxury candle. Oh my goodness, red berries. I go through these like crazy. They were just get me in a great mood. And sometimes I'm so moody. Believe it or not, this one is tangerine tropical. How sweet for you to include that, Doug. Thank you so much. All right, what's that? This is packaged super nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh, don't you love when people pay attention to the details? Oh my goodness. Look at this fabulous bag. Oh, this would be a nice bag for a handbag, a little dust bag, won't it? How nice. Again, I will link his channel and his stores in the details here in the description box. So go check him out. See what he's got. And he does frequent a lot of auctions, so... I'm sure he's an avid jewelry hunter, and you'll find some wonderful things. Oh, my gosh. He put it in a bag. Oh, my gosh. He put it in a handbag. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Doug. What a beautiful red bag. Oh, is this a coach? Oh, my goodness. What fabulous friend mail is that? Look at that. Oh, my word. It looks like a coach to me. It feels awesome. And I was just talking about red bags. I didn't buy that red bag after all, Vanessa. That really nice one. Who was it from? No, I forgot. It was so cute. And the bag of jewelry is in here, guys. Oh, my gosh. That's a nice way to shape up a bag, too. I did that at my auction today, too. And that um, ADN Anne. Oh, wow. How pretty is that? Who wouldn't want to get one of these guys? If you know someone who loves jewelry bags, it's a fossil. Oh, I love it. No, it's a coach. Yes, it's a coach bag. Yes. How pretty. What a perfect size, too. Oh, I love it. I love it. And I was just saying I didn't have a red bag. But listen, look at this. This is so amazing. I would love it, you know. Just to get a present like this. You know someone who loves jewelry bags? Would this not make a great bag? My son was telling me, I know you wanted jewelry bags for Christmas, but I didn't get a chance to find one. So he knows I love them too. You know? So he bought me something. Oh, look at this beautiful ribbon. He bought me something else. But isn't it wonderful to know that you can just go grab a jewelry bag? from an Etsy shop, from a reputable seller that is here all the time. Oh my gosh. Look at this cute little tin. Look at that. Something in it too. Hey Kathleen. I know that's a beautiful bag. And it would be so much fun to get a jewelry bag as a gift. For Valentine's, people love looking through this stuff. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Oh, my gosh. What a beautiful. This is a lacquered box, guys. Oh, how pretty. And it's got jewelry in it. Oh, my goodness. Look at this amazing box. It almost looks like um, pottery. It is a wooden lacquered box with birds. What beautiful colors, too. Goodness, let's see what's in it. I'm so excited. Sterling silver, size 7. Oh, my goodness, Doug. That was so kind of you. Thank you. 
Okay, he marked them. He marked them. This is a size seven beautiful band. Oh my gosh. Look at that little stones in there. Kind of a shrimp design. This will make a beautiful stacking ring. Look at that. That's pretty. Oh, wow. And then a bracelet. Ooh, really cool bracelet. Can you guys actually hear me through this microphone? It's not working, right? I'm going to have to figure out whether I'm going to return it or not. Oh, this is cute. This is so cute. This like little kidney bean shapes, links. Wow. Very hefty too, guys. This is super, super pretty. Does he really, Vanessa? Well, that sounds really nice. That sounds really nice that he keeps the buyer's wants and likes in mind when he curates these bags. That's a fabulous idea. I know a lot of people have attempted to do that. And, uh, you know, when you can do that, that's a real personal touch. It's amazing. Hey, Gina. Susie, Amanda, Kit Kat, Kit Hunt, Nora. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Look at this brooch. Oh, gosh. This is pretty. Sterling silver brooch as well. Look at that. That'll look good. You know what? This reminds me of an Australian symbol, kind of. Doesn't it? I don't know. It does to me. I kind of like it for my Western jacket where I have all that other Texas stuff. Oh, wow. Talk about unique. I need to go check. I need to go check out his shop for sure. I can't believe I've waited this long. This one has a symbol on it. A hallmark. It is sterling as well. This says sterling by Jewel Hart. Look at this amazing cornucopia. With kind of, I guess. What would you say that is? Wheat? Wow. I love it. That is really pretty. All of this is just in this little box right now, guys. Oh, my goodness. And the box is so pretty. I love boxes. This is just so pretty. Thank you so much, Doug. All right. Let's move on. And I can't wait to go burn one of those candles. As I have my... Midnight. I've drank everything today except wine. Maybe I'll have some midnight wine. I drank coffee, lemonade, and what else? And water. I haven't had wine yet. So maybe I'll enjoy those candles with some wine. Hey, Donatella, how are you? We were just talking about one of the bags I got from your auction because we're doing a curated jar from Doug Sample, who also does videos here, and he has a wonderful Etsy shop that I'm going to link. Oh my gosh, look at this. Doug, this looks like sterling too. I had one like this with turquoise. And I um, I was just thinking the other day, I actually sold it to Kim Webster. She loved the jewelry. Oh, I'm telling you. This looks like sterling to me, Doug. I'm not sure if you are. Oh, it doesn't matter. Is that gorgeous? I'm going to lose 10 pounds tomorrow. I gotta wear some jeans this summer. Look at that. Oh, this is motivation right here, guys. I need to put some jeans on with a belt. Oh, I love it. That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Look at that concho belt. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm lingering. I know, but that is just an amazing piece. And then look at this. Mm. I'm not sure what this is. It's orange inlay with something kind of looks a little bit like bone. Kind of a cream color. So nice. Hey, Miss Kathy. Oh, wow. That's great. And I love these. These are always especially when they fit. <laughs> These are always so cute. The wood with the uh, inlaid brass, I believe it is. 
I love that diamond design. That is so cute. This is pretty. These are glass. These look like um, a root beer garnet at the top. This is probably an artisan piece. Look at that. Those are really nice. Oh, I would love to wear this with a sand colored top. Wouldn't that be pretty? Oh, that's really nice. Yes, Gina, they are so beautiful. I'm already wearing the sterling ring. I love the brooch. Look at this bracelet. Wow, this one's still tagged. Pilgrim. This is awesome. Look at this. These are some beautiful pieces. This matches the dress I'm wearing today. Look, at it's just encrusted with rhinestones, and it's still new with tags. Obviously from a department store or something. Look how pretty. Doesn't that match my, my outfit today? Black stones are healing stones. Hey, Miss Carol Gill Gillis from Canada. Guys, the colors in here are pink, lavender, and a I would say a ruby red more than a garnet red. It's got that pink, beautiful tinge to it. Wow. That's an awesome bracelet. And you pair these with your gold bracelets, and no one can tell whether they're gold or not. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know where to look, guys. Look at this amazing piece. Oh, wow. And it's, it's even got an extra. It's all extra, guys. You can't just stop it being pretty. It's extra. Look at this festination here. A little festoon going on on, this, on one side. And then little charms. Oh, my goodness. And it's long. Little stations of charms. Where is this from? This one's marked, too. Carvo, Anne, and Carol, I think it says. Look at that beautiful pendant. That reminds me of a coral ring I was going to put out for auction today, and I forgot about it. It's that sweet, sweet color of, of coral. Not quite red, just a true coral with that tinge of pink. Hey, Cinnamon, how are you? It's so cute. Wow, I'm just amazed. And then these, I love these, the Persone. I even love the little music they make. Aren't they pretty? Nice colors, too. Taupe and green, blue and white. Wow. Wow, those are nice. Okay, then we have some things in bags. I love when they do that, too. This is Lucky Brand. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to buy another bag from you, sir. This one's a gift. But wow, I am just floored. $39 is the original price. You know what they cost. You know what Lucky Brand costs. Look at that. This looks like that ring I had the other day. That Native American ring. It's got that same kind of play with the geometric diamond shapes. Wow, that is nice. These are super nice. Semi-precious accents. Okay, wow. So then they're very likely genuine stones in here. No wonder they're $39, $40. That's what it says in the back, guys. Genuine accents. Semi-precious stones. So then we're looking at turquoise tiger eye. I see tiger eye. Oh, my gosh. Those are darling. And I love those little dingles that give off that flash of shine. Thank you, Gina. That's so pretty. Thank you so much, Deb. That's wonderful. And then here we go with another beautiful pendant. This one is black with gold super long chain on it. As well, very nice ch uh, snake chain. Ta Talia. Now, this is Talia Sodi. She's the singer, the turn designer. Married to, um, who's that guy that used to be married to Mariah? Tony Matola? I think it's Tony. 
Matola, I believe, the exec. So, yeah, Talia. Wow. She's actually a Mexican um, singer, art actress and all. And I think her stuff is carried at Macy's. Yeah. 3450 was the original on this one. This is a nice piece. Really nice. And I like the gold. It's not too flashy. You know, it's just the right. It looks like 14 karat, the color of 14 karat. Ooh, enamel. Oh, yeah, yeah, her soap operas for sure. J. Crew, look how pretty, guys. Is this open because it's so small? I love that because it'll fit. Look at that. J. Crew in the prettiest yellow. Marigold color. That is really nice. Still understated emergency, Ruth? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I was trying to try out. Like, I don't think it's working, guys. I'll try another video later with it. <laughs> it's not working tonight. At least I don't think it's sounding like it's working. I'm going to fiddle with it for a minute. I thought I was ready for this, but guess not. I guess not. On with the beautiful jewelry. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is pretty. This has a station of crystal, AB crystals, and rondelles throughout. Isn't that pretty? It's long. This looks like it's loft. Yes, it is loft. So not nice names in here. Thank you so much. Really nice jewelry. Really nice on this one. Another one from it looks like J. Crew as well. This one is hinged. I don't think this one has a mark on it, though. And this one is actually hinged. Look at that. Nice colors on there. Ooh, this is a pretty bracelet. Very exotic looking. Look at these beads. Glass beads. Those are pretty. Very, very nice. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys. I really do appreciate you being here. 70 people are here. 20 thumbs up. Let's get some thumbs up here. Oh, look at this. That's nice. Of course, you need something plain. Plain color there. Oh, my goodness. This is nice, guys. These are bars in between here, so they stay really nice. They're kind of a they're kind of a, a glowy. It, you really can't tell, but it's got like a two tone to the beads. Really nice. Okay, a brooch. I just sold a circle brooch today. So the brooches are still very popular. This one's marked as well. It looks like a Monet. Very nice. I like the texture on it too. Can you see that? Very nice. Okay. Statement pieces, always welcome. Especially when they're not too, too elaborate, but just a nice little addition to an outfit. That's cute. They're kind of, um, ro is it run? What is that word? Now I forgot I haven't used it in so long. The ones that are protrude like that. Cute. I know somebody knows out there. Oh my goodness, is it snowing over there? It is, I have the AC on right now. I wish it was at least cool. This is Mother Pearl 
wood beads so cute guys this looks a little bit like that alphabet i bought a beautiful little alphabet bracelet from um, anita finita's shop and this one looks reminds me of that all pin set but there's mother of pearl and little wood beads i love the white with the um the cream and it's sort of antique and look at that huge oversized lobster claw easy to put on of course so pretty thank you shirley this is a pinky ring i got off ebay years ago uh, she told me it was sterling but it's actually mark gold and these are maximilian coins and she said they were real coins so i don't know but it's one of my favorites too thank you Oh, pink. Look, Vanessa. Pink glass earrings with gold tone. Little drops. I would love to see a bag curated just for Vanessa from Doug. It would be all pink. Pink and pearls, right, Vanessa? Oh, these are so pretty. I may switch into these. Since we're wearing pink anyway. Cute. Oh, I love them. Ooh, look, vintage. Something so pretty. Look at the colors on these. This is so cute. Kind of jewel tones. Oh, I love it. Reminds me of Christmas, but it's so pretty. They're pearlized. The prettiest colors of purple and pink and green and red and here's the, the little simple hook so this is definitely uh probably from the 60s <laughs> so cute how can that not light up an outfit guys look at that absolutely i bet it would be gorgeous <gasps> Oh my goodness, I think these are real pearls. They are indeed with the matching bracelet. Looks like silver tone. I don't see a mark. And that's often done with real uh, pearls as well. They are amazing pearls though. And they have a matching bracelet. Look, I guess they're kind of potato or baroque. They have a wonderful luster, too. And here's the matching bracelet. They really do have a nice luster to them. So nice. Thank you, Doug. Wow. Okay, now we have some earrings in here. Really cool ones. Pink and butterflies. That's right, I forgot about the butterflies. Pink pearls and butterflies. That's what you should change your name to, Vanessa, your, your channel name. Remember you were thinking of changing your channel name? Butterflies, pearls, and pink. That would be a good name. We have to get it, you know, a letter. What do you call it? Alliteration? And then it'll work. Look at these. These are cute. They look Egyptian. I believe they're leather with bronze colors or some kind of some kind of bronze tone yeah this is like bronze or brass and that is leather and it makes it look like the verdigris you know how when the metals start getting that verdigris because of that addition of the color there they're really cool another pearl here Oh, look at the clusters on these, guys. It's a choker size. It's magnet closure. And, oh, my goodness, what pretty design on here. I should put it on my little back so you can see it. Here's my back, I think, my little display. Look at that. Those are mother of pearl glass beads, then black. All of these are glass. That is so nice. 
I love it. That is cool. Good night, Miss Tracy. Thank you for coming in. I know it's late. I appreciate it. Ooh, look at this. This is also shell, and it's got a golden color to it. Really nice expandable bracelet, but it's so cute. I like the way it lays like that. That's a nice piece. I really do, because that would look so nice paired with some gold tone jewelry, don't you think? That is super cute. Okay, here's another one in a bag. Pink pearls. Yes, I told you it does. Pink pearls and butterflies. That should be your name, Miss Vanessa, on your new when you change the channel name. I think that's what you said you wanted to do. So that would be a good alternative. See, we came up with a name for you. These are it looks like I thought that's what it said. Christian Dior. Very nice. Rhinestone. Gold tone. Kind of a hugger. See, that's what I said. I like the way the way we we put that name together for you, Miss Vanessa. Yes, it rolls right off the tongue. Very melodic. And it's all about you. <laughs> right? Change it tonight. These are cute. They're Christian Dior. They're gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful earrings. Okay. Ooh, look at these earrings. These look like almost like amber. <laughs> Cute butterflies wearing pearls. Oh, I love that too. I love that too. Where your next we'll have names for your next shops and your next channel. Look how cute, guys. These might just be. Oh no, they're I think they're that gold stone. Look how pretty. They're super glittery inside. That's really nice. And they are glass. Yes, write it down. Be sure and come back and copy paste. Because we'll forget. I know I thought about it, but we'll forget. Okay, here is a very nice green heart. Almost looks like a uh, style from, and it, I think it is, from Brighton. So pretty. Green stones with a heart and really pretty, guys. Look at that. Kind of a peridot color. But then they look at that. Or maybe it's it looks like that tie design that they do in sterling a lot. I don't know think it is, but isn't it nice? Those are really pretty. And then I think this may be the Brighton, but I'm not sure. A lot of people use that. Design nowadays, too, that uh, squirrely thing. But regardless, it's a beautiful cat's eye. Cat's eye, that's it. Yeah, they're cat's eye. Very cute. Another fabulous brooch in a starburst design. This is by Jacqueline. Jacqueline. This is the way my late niece used to spell her name. Not the way you ordinarily think of Jacqueline. I'll have to give this to my sister. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited to find that. Whenever I see anything with Jackie's name, I kind of think of it as a little hello. So that is so nice. I cannot believe it. It is so pretty. Yeah, that's exactly the way my late niece used to spell her name. I love it. Thank you. Okay. Wow, look at this, guys. Two elephants encrusted with rhinestones on a purple bracelet. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that. Look at that. Rich. Yes. This is nice. Very nice. It's a nice stretch, too. It's like double. I can see that they doubled the, the elastic in there. So it's made 
to last, I would say. Very nice. Oh, good night, Cookie. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. Here's another close to name. Bangle. So that's three of them. All matching. Very nice. Here's another purple that goes with that lion one. That would make a nice combo. They go together nicely. More pearls. These are faux, but they have a fancy closure. And they're knotted. Don't believe they have any kind of a signature. But it's always fun to look, isn't it? Nice choker length, too. Your box needs to have black um, and purple and skulls. That's fun, though. I, I like that. There was another vintage box company that used to do that kind of stuff. Was it Birch Box? No, that's cosmetics. Bird Box? Bluebird? I forgot. I know Carla was a, a subscriber, but that would be fun to have someone know what you like and then send it your way. Ooh, these are beautiful. Look at these. They're kind of vintage looking with stars, like a star design there in the middle. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, me too, Gina. <laughs> me too. I hope you didn't, um, I hope it didn't get any of y'all down, but you know, that happens, right? It's been, gosh, it's been what, I think 17 years already. I can't even believe it. I really can't. I sometimes want to stop counting. <laughs> This is gorgeous, Doug. Wow. What a beautiful array of jewelry. I mean, I'm just floored. This is amazing. This has got the tea, which I think it's Talbot's. I'm not sure. But I love the silver pearls, the, the Tahitian-looking pearls. That is so nice. Look at that. Yes, now I have to go see my sister tomorrow. Ooh, these are Southwest. Cute. Rodeo's coming up in February. And I'm ready. I'm ready with my Lou Casey's, or maybe I'll wear my mom's old. Um, which ones are hers? I think hers are Tony Lama. And they're gorgeous. They're crocodile boots. And go head out to the rodeo. Overeat and enjoy the show. Oh, thank you so much. Those are gorgeous. Here's some more pretty earrings. A lot of nice earrings in here, guys. These are silver tone. The design really makes them look like silver. I like it. It almost matches that brooch, too. Carol, this was actually a gift, and I'm not sure what his price point is. This is kind of a review, a friend mail and all. So that's why I brought it to the channel, and I'm going to link his um, Etsy shop below so you can check it out. He also sells individual pieces. I've never actually bought one from his shop, but I know people have, and uh, people have been impressed with it. So I was very happy when he said he was going to send me something to look at. And uh, to see what it is, because I know he he knows his jewelry, guys. He's in all the auctions. And uh, look at this one. This is really nice. This is a mother of pearl and crystals and, I believe, faux pearls. And all of these are glass. Very pretty. These long necklaces are all the trend, guys. Yes, I will link his Etsy shop. And uh, I'm sure there's a price point. I think he has different prices on his boxes, guys. And like Vanessa was saying, he I think he even has the option of uh, asking you what you like and what you would like to see in your box. Ooh. He didn't even ask me. <laughs> he 
must know I like everything because look at this brooch. Oh my gosh, a sun. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Look at that beautiful brooch. That's a silver tone brooch and it is amazing. And it is by Monet. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. Can almost feel the heat on that one, guys. Can you guys get warmed up, those of you in the snow out there? Yes. Okay, I thought he had already started to do the videos, but he does have a channel. And I know he was in my chat last night. I don't think he's in tonight. Um, I know I got started late, but I'm sure he'll probably comment tomorrow. And uh, like I said, I'll link all his information. Be sure. And I'm not getting any kind of a compensation or commission when I do. I do disclose it as a sponsored video. This was just a gift and uh, a review and some friend mail. Beyond friend mail, guys, he said some wonderful things. These are crystal, guys. AB crystals. Look at the different shapes on them. Another long necklace. Amazing pieces. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I did see a little dangle here. What does it say? This is Cookie Lee. Cookie Lee's a good brand too. Okay, now I could pair this one with that other really long black one. I need to wear jewelry like this tomorrow. I like this together. They're both about the same size. Of course, I wouldn't wear it with this floral thing. I'd wear a simple top. So cute. More earrings. These are really pretty. Oh, my gosh. I'll take these off now. I'll take the pink ones off and put these on because look at these chandelier earrings. And they don't feel very heavy. How fun. Guys, I don't know, but you guys need to think, when you go to just a regular old store, even the Goodwill, and you buy a pair of earrings, they're $4. And they're like this. Like teeny tiny, $4. So that's why the jewelry jars are such a bargain. Regardless of whether you get sterling or gold, just getting all of this jewelry for 40 50 whatever it is you pay, think about that. Every single piece of jewelry is at the very least $4. And the stuff you get at the Dollar Tree, forget that. That's not going to last you out the door. Okay, here's another Monet, I believe, or Napier. Okay, this is 14 karat gold filled. And I don't believe it has another mark besides that. But how nice. How nice is this? Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You're so right, Jude. Look at that closure. I love that. Love when the necklaces have a fancy closure. These are pearls. These, uh, I know I have. I've seen these with real gold beads. So these are really popular. These were really popular in the 70s with the gold filled and gold beads. And these are genuine stones. So these are genuine pearls. How nice. And we have black as well as the Tahitian silver bead. And I'm not sure what the black. I think the black might be onyx. Can you see all the, the pearls in there? They're gray and white or silver Tahitian colored. And then that black. That's pretty. Okay, that's going to have to go with this, don't you think? All right, see, here we go with the layering. Yes. Very nice. We have another little bag. I like the way he also separates the earrings into little bags. That's very nice. The Cloisonne bangles are fabulous. Oh, how cute. Oh, my gosh. This looks like a Brighton, too. The style. And I know. Oh, my gosh. And they have spurs. These are little cowboy boots, but they're, like, tall, beautiful. Oh, my God. So Look at that. Look at the little squirrel. The squirrel designs on the boots. And those spurs spin. They actually spin. And then there's some crystal. 
encrusted things and the silver beads are kind of brushed. Oh my gosh. Those are cute. Let's change again. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited with these beautiful earrings. Yes. And they're so fancy. And the spur, look, it's gold tone and it spins. They are so cute. Really cute. And they're substantial, aren't they? Oh my gosh, these are so different. Super cute earrings. They show up. I didn't think they would show up so much. That's wow. Insane. So pretty. Okay, these are nice. Kind of a Hawaiian tropical look. What is this material made out of? Some kind of an acrylic. These are cute. Can you see those with just your bathing suit and a sarong and a martini or something? Oh, cute. Yeah, they are a good length. They're not heavy either. They feel good. Ooh, a little sand dollar. This is different. This actually looks like, I think it's called sea glass. I believe this is sea glass. It is marked. And it looks like a sand dollar there. Isn't that pretty? It looks like a sand dollar style, you know, design. Like it's supposed to look. What bathing suit? <laughs> I have a black bathing suit. I think I wore it two years ago to the gym. I need to get back in the gym, but I will wear it because, <laughs> because I like the jewelry. This is uh, Claire's. Claire's, yeah, this is Claire's. And I like that belt. That's going to get me back in the gym, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, what babies? <laughs> oh, Vanessa, you're so funny. Hi, Lori. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> I, I have a black bathing suit somewhere. It's got a skirt, okay? <laughs> I can dream. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty, guys. Very boho. Oh, these are glass, too. I don't know what kind of stone they are. And the one in the middle is probably resin. But look how cute that is. It's a pretty bracelet. Toggle clasp. Oops. A little toggle clasp. That's pretty. I like the colors together. And the beads are kind of a brass color. Very nice. Oh my goodness, how fun is this one? Here's another one for the bathing suit, Vanessa. There's another one you need to wear with your bathing suit and your sarong. It'll be summer one day, guys. It feels like summer here in Texas, but I know you guys have snow. Oh, look how cute that is. The Tony Llama boots, absolutely. Um, we have some Tony Llama, some Lou Casey. I have my mother's vintage boots that are my absolute favorite. I think they're 50 years old. I've had them resold, and they are... They do not make them like that anymore. I think they're either croc or alligator. They're amazing uh, with pointed toes. Ah, they're so cute. Look at that. That has real shell in it, guys. That big green bead is seed beads. That is so cute. If that doesn't make you smile, I don't know what does. That is just a really, really cute necklace. Yeah. <laughs> What do you go swimming in? You haven't worn a bathing suit since you were three. Well, I haven't worn one in about four years since I went to the gym. Maybe no, maybe two years when I had the when I had I had surgery on my shoulder and I had to do aqua therapy. But I used to wear them a lot because we do have a, a community swimming pool, and I had to take the kids. And hopefully this year my grandson will come over and go swimming. He's been doing swimming lessons. So I have to get that bathing suit on. I'm going to wear that jewelry. 
Okay, here's a nice pair. These are marked too. They're gold tone. They are marked Monet. I like their closure. They're nice. They're shaped almost like horseshoes. Gold tone. Look at that. Those are pretty. Monet. <laughs> oh, you're done with the what? Oh, my gosh. I have never been to a beach in Florida, and I need to go. So when I go visit you, Vanessa, you need to take me to the beach. We'll go get sunburn. Maybe you'll get some freckles or something. You can leave your, your duster on or something. <laughs> I'm joking. I know you don't wear dusters. All right, these are by, I thought these were from, yeah, Laurel Birch. They reminded me very much of Laurel Birch when I saw them because I did have a pair from um, Kelly once, but they were bigger. And they were too heavy. I couldn't wear them, but these are not heavy. These are super pretty. They're green and blue leaves. Laurel Birch, those are darling. Really nice. And I was just looking at a Laurel Birch bag. Uh, I'm looking for a Laurel Birch handbag. So interesting when I found these. All right, another lovely brooch by Monet or Trafari. Trafari? Yes, this is a Crown Trafari. A nice, oh my gosh. Look at that white enamel leaf brooch. That is so cool. Look at that. That's huge too. That is so pretty. I found some, uh, I found that white butter, what was it? Was it a firefly or a dragonfly from Chicago that was also a trafari and it was white enamel. But this one has that gold tone accent. You don't have any snow? Thought it would be snowing over there. <clears throat> You have a moo moo. Okay, see, some of us have moo moos. I don't. <laughs> I wish I did though. <laughs> I really do. They're comfy. Look how pretty, guys. Crown Trafari. That is so pretty in that white enamel. Oh, I love it. I like that. Yes, yeah, golden white. I do too. Okay, we have some more earrings. We have a, an ankle bracelet. See, we're, somebody wants me to go to the beach. An ankle bracelet with puka shell in aqua. Canadian maple leaf. Is that what that is? Thank you. And this is an anklet. Looks like 90 people are here, guys. Only 30 of y'all have put the thumbs up. Be sure and put the thumbs up. I'm going to actually record some more videos for you tonight. I'm going to do some more jewelry jars and some that uh, picked up at the Goodwill. I have no idea what's in them. Last night we did find James Avery. That was exciting. Ooh, this is pretty. I love when they're lightweight, guys. Look at these pretty earrings. They're kind of a bronze color or a blonde gold tone. And then they have almost like what they're calling now the copper painting that they do. It's kind of what it looks like. Those are nice. They're very light too. These are pretty. I like these. I like anything that's lightweight, but that you can see. Cute. Oh, my goodness. Those are very pretty. So many nice earrings. I don't even know which ones to put on. I think I'll put the black ones back on just because these are cute, too. What do I do with the other one? Oh, well. I'll have to find it in a minute. It's in here somewhere. And... Such an amazing jar. This is what you call a curated, excellently curated jewelry jar, don't you think, guys? If you like it, give it a thumbs up. 
If you like it, be sure and check out his Etsy store. I will link it. And uh, go check him out. I think he's got wonderful items. I know he's bought beautiful items from me and many other people. And God only knows where else he finds these wonderful treasures. But I am just amazed. I believe that is all of it. I was absolutely floored with his generosity as well as like Vanessa said and Jude said, his excellent taste in jewelry. That's just amazing because all of these pieces go with so much. They're all different kinds. Like I said, we could wear a bathing suit, even though we haven't done it since we were three. <laughs> or uh, for work or the power jewelry of the Trafari brooches. I love it. This thing is so super cool. Thank you so much, Doug. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I just can't thank you enough. My goodness. What generosity. I really do appreciate the coach bag is gorgeous. I'm going to love those candles. And I cannot thank you enough for this wonderful jewelry. I love the vintage one too. Wasn't that the sweetest? This just makes me smile. I want to put this on. Oh, did he really, Vanessa? How wonderful. He's a, he's a wonderful gentleman. He really is. I've uh, seen him in a lot of chats. He always frequents my channel, and I do appreciate it. And uh, <laughs> Jude, that is so funny, Jude. Oh, my goodness. So, again, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the way in or out for this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so tonight. Come back again because I'm going to record some more videos for you. I'm going to try to get this. Hello. I don't think this microphone worked very well for me. Do I sound like an ASMR video yet? Let me know. Okay. And uh, see if we can get it to run, and we'll do some more close-up videos and have fun with that. Close-up looking at this wonderful jewelry and other things that I want to bring you. A thrift haul. I haven't brought you that. I'm going to try to set up over there as well. And have a wonderful night, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. I hope you have Monday off. If not, enjoy it. And I'll talk to you soon.